So this is Apex Jones. Years ago, Allen Iverson called out what we all saw happen long, long ago. I understand. LeBron is great, first of all. The best right now. Hands down. But when they talk about it, when they talk about comparing him to Mike, I don't understand how they when it comes to Kobe. That's like right. I don't, I don't get it. They hate I mean, on Kobe. That's what you, you forgot or something? What they forgot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. exactly. But <laughs> I, I really, I really think they forgot. They had to speak the, the mama, man. <laughs> Thank you. He forgot you. Kobe's a goat. Kobe's a goat. This man is a certified serial killer, man. You can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that. Um. So I guess what I'm asking here is is he right? Was there ever a time where Kobe was legitimately like second best all time? Because I wonder if an older player would come and say that same thing about Kareem, you know? But y'all have the Kobe versus LeBron debate. Yeah, was he ever viewed as two? No, he was reviewed as someone that could be two time in and time out. And then when he when he retired, he was around, I swear, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, he was around the 48 range being shuffled. Then he passed. And if if y'all got, got a gaslight and say four day, he was everybody's goat. That's not true, but fine. But then ever since then, it's been barely top 10, top 12 type shit. And it's just, I don't know how it's happened. I've said this take millions of times, so I'm not even gonna take too much of the um screen time here. But um yeah, as far as to what I believe he's saying, I mean, he's not necessarily wrong. I don't like Kobe getting skipped in conversations because I think as majority of the top 10, but the further you go down, it gets worse. You can argue any of them's the fucking GOAT. It's just um, Kobe's career just isn't really kind to him for what we view for great players nowadays. That's what I really started to realize. What we want in terms of our arguments, whether it's Jokic, Giannis, uh, LeBron, Jordan, all that shit, what we look for in the stats, what we look for in the accolades, Kobe falls flat. However, everyone who was there knows what the fuck they saw, knows what the situations and all that extra shit. So it, it's it's a Kobe's always been a weird person to talk about basketball with, and that's why I think Dwayne Wade, unfortunately, over time is going to be a hoe too, because he's in a similar <clears throat> scope. I've always viewed it as um, a situation of whoever played in terms of the goat debate when it comes to NBA players, especially guys who did it at the highest level, of, the highs of the highs, the elites, whatever you want to call them. The go debate is depending on what era you play basketball in and basically how progress a how progressive you are or b how much you hate the nigga that was the goat in your era. Right. It's always the thing. Uh back when Jordan was young, niggas was Kareem. It, it's Kareem, the older heads, uh grandfathers, great grandfathers will tell you Kareem's the goat. Then you have the people that played with Kareem or that people that were in that era, that transitional era between Kareem and and then it was the magic and bird era, and then boom, Mike. You'll have, oh, Magic and Bird era, we're great, but Mike's the goal or the hold on the cream. Then you have the people that played in the 90s that didn't win because of Mike, and they're either going to say, yeah, Mike's the goal, or them niggas hate Mike, so they're going to say Kobe or LeBron because you have the people that played in the 2000s who, like Allen Iverson, like all these other guys, they will say, oh, Kobe's the goal, Kobe's so great, or why is so pe- so many people ready to just go over Kobe, or they're just going to be progressive. Either you, realize, you, you have that respect for Kobe because you played him, or Kobe busts your ass and you're like, okay, yeah, nah, I'm progressive or I, nah, fuck that. It's LeBron. It's whoever comes next. And it's going to be the same thing. You see it now. Guys like Jeff Teague or guys that played in that era of LeBron dominance, they'll say either LeBron's the GOAT, they'll hold on the mic, they'll say Kobe because they grew up with Kobe, or you have these young guys now saying fucking Kevin Durant is the GOAT. Brandon Miller saying Paul George is the GOAT. Niggas will say shit like that. So it's... It, 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 it's real iffy and it's real era dependent, but I don't personally think there was ever a time where Kobe was, at least in the basketball world, to the fans and the barbershop talks and shit like that. I don't think there was ever a point where he was the GOAT. He was the most comparable to Jordan because of play style, but yeah. he was never comparable to Jordan in terms of being greater. I think the highest praise he got was GOAT score at one point. I think a lot of people at one point thought he was the greatest score. I don't think anyone's ever had him as the GOAT. I think the the, the the basketball discussions have just been different, like now compared to what it was even like 13, 14 years ago. I think to the advanced analytics movement's credit, there is a little bit more nuance nowadays. There's a lot more data to back up everything. 
But back then, at least from what I remember when I was being introduced into basketball, like a lot of it was just narratives and barbershop talk vibes and and who was if MJ if MJ's the goat and this dude's the closest thing to MJ, then he gotta be too, right? Like that was that was a lot of what I was hearing back then. Um and like if you if you wanna win a championship, hey, you gotta hey Jordan and Kobe, every everyone else is kinda eh. And when people brought up Bill Russell, I mean, it was the 60s. So it was getting advanced there. But for the most part, there was still a lot of, like, narrative talk and um, ring culture involved. Do y'all ever, uh, and hopefully the clip is out, so. Do y'all ever push um, y'all's pee to make it go faster? Yeah. Depending on depending on how loud I want to be. <laughs> what do you mean how by How loud? It's not time dependent. Like. If you're in a hurry, you gonna push. No? What do you mean by push? I never. I promise you. I promise what do you. you mean, I, I never like, pee in a are, hurry. Are you talking about like a Danimal Grush cup? Uh, push. Or you mean like you like know push like your, push your okay? Push that, your that's what I was. That's, that's what I was assuming. Was, on just, what earth are we? I was just making kids? sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a crazy question. Why are you? Why are we crazy. squeezing that shit out like toothpaste? Why? Nigga, I thought you were like it's a penis. That would stop. Okay. Nigga, I ain't know which I was on. So have you done it? No. <laughs> what the what the you animal crush cool cup? No, 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 I have a crush cup in my dick before. No, what, like I'm, I'm like, no, like, no just a, a, a just a regular like, push. Push the pizza. Also, also, we call that toothpaste in our dicks. Age, come on now. <laughs> oh my yeah, animal, yeah, yeah. yeah Dan was crush cup. Nigga, grow up. Oh my god. Jesus. No. Um, <laughs> pushing P. Head. I was saying, have you never been pushing P? Yeah, I've I tried to. It's your favorite alphabet type shit. Next topic. <laughs> um, yeah, AI's a clown. He's trying to get that Kobe shit up. Let's get into some. I mean, I, I, I believe that. No, no one went there. No, no, no one talked about AI. No one yeah, we did not talk about AI. AI. Yeah, AI was oh. never like, no one said anything about yeah, AI. I guess just, just to say, I don't think that clip's eight minutes. Um, how do y'all feel about players doing what Damo said, though? Coming out, talking about players during the era, and then, hey, bro, he bust my ass. He's the greatest player I've ever fucking seen. Hey, bro, our team beat that nigga. He sucks. How y'all feel about that shit? Is it just bound to happen? That's or? valid. That's valid to me, though. Like, and I would honestly, I feel like it's even more dicks up to not do that to a player that you didn't play against. Because how do you mm -hmm. really know? Like, how do you? Who is what busting your ass twenty four seven four times a year type shit? But you want to care for Kareem Abdul Jabbar because his stats back him up? All right, dog. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. If this next generation is really holding on to, like, I don't know, and, and they really don't. The, the next generation don't be holding on to the 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 bills and wilts and the shits of the world because it's like shit, Paul George, my goat. <laughs> yeah, but that, but and, and honestly, that's but the, I don't feel crazy about that because they seen it more more relevantly. Or more frequently, and then they should be saying like, if I ask, you know, Anthony Black, who's the goat? Oh man, Luca, Luca gave me a fucking business. Yeah, you're right. He did give you sixty on like, you know, fifty eight percent from the field or something like that. Jokic did cook your ass. I don't care. I, I don't care. Even if it's somebody who's not even like in the upper echelons, I'm trying to think of somebody who's like really good but won't end up there. Like who won't end up in the the tops of all time? Like Jason now. Jason Tatum. Damn Jason Tatum. Him. Jason Tatum. Damn. Oh um, man. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, no. But if it's like, yeah, if it is like yeah, Jimmy crazy. Butler, like like Jimmy Butler. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Butler. Okay, 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 Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Trae yeah no, no, no. Yeah. Grant, yeah, that doesn't hurt me though. So I don't. It, <laughs> and if Trey Young busts your ass, you don't need to be in the league next year. Oh my. But That's if crazy. um, yeah, no, no. If Jimmy Butler, like Grant Williams, should literally be saying Jimmy Butler is like. The greatest player he's ever seen because he was busting your ass. Okay. If I call that MJ shit. You got LeBron towards the end of your career. That's kind of, I mean, it's cool, but hey, dog, Jimmy Butler is Hemi Butler to you, dog. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I respect that. I, respect that. I do not agree. I'm, I'm oh, yeah. I don't know what? if I, agree, I respect it. I, I respect don't it. agree at all. I think it's personally, I think it's very telling when the young players come into the league and they say goofy shit like, I mean, Paul George is my goal. I understand it. Malcolm that Brogdon's shit. my king. Yeah, I understand it, but it's dumb type. Shit. I understand yeah. it, but that, honestly, I understand it, but that lets me know what kind of basketball mind you are. And that me, you're a nigga that plays basketball. You play basketball very well. You probably, I doubt Brandon Miller watches basketball. I don't think <laughs> Brandon Miller is probably playing Fortnite. That's the best gaslight of all time. You say some dumb shit. I can tell you. 
I'm not, not like genuinely like when you have a guy like JJ Reddick, like and I'm not even saying JJ Reddick is the highest of the high, but JJ right. Reddick has a concept of just basketball from a scope beyond me playing basketball. He has a concept of basketball. Like there's guys who look at the game and they look at it as the game of basketball. There's motherfuckers who look at it as just I mean, shit, we out here hooping, nigga. I mean, shit, the nigga hoop the best of me, nigga Paul George. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that makes sense to me. About? Y'all said y'all I mean, said he's the best one in the league, yeah. right? All right, bet that's best way. So I like I, I I totally understand it. I just don't agree, and it lets me know like if I have a if I ever if I ever go to the if I ever go down to Queen City, I go to the Buzz Center. I know for a fact I'm not talking to Brandon Miller about basketball, bro. Like I'm, real real hoopers know that KD's better than LeBron, right? Mm. And I don't, I don't, I'll be. And mad of course, you're throwing McCants goofy ass to say something like that. I'll, I'll be contradictory. I do hate real hoopers. No dot dot dot. I do. Hate <laughs> now, now, Rashard McCants, <laughs> Rashard McCants was getting his ass busted by LeBron James, though. That's and that's the backstory behind that. <laughs> and so is Gilbert Arenas. Oh, that's why he's saying. That. Okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. But I, I, I don't know. I just feel like it would be weird if I was like, our right, best car is the fucking thirty six. Kevin Durant. I'm sorry. I was, no, I, was, no I was, just this. That's why. It's, that's why it's, why it's dick suck. But weird? if I was like, if I was like, yo, the best car is like the 36 model Q Ford. Like that shit was. Not gonna lie, this new energy efficient, mileage efficient shit. I don't care about that. That old shit though that I never experienced, but only looked through. Really, niggas didn't even see Will. That I only looked through other niggas' memories. Yeah, man. That's the, that's, that's, the goat. that's the goat right you there. You put that it like crazy. that. It sounds crazy <laughs> to me. To me, it sounds crazy. I hear you. I hear you. I think those are just different conversations, but it's cool. I, I see. I yeah, see where yeah I'm about from. to say, I see where you're coming from. I don't necessarily agree, but I do hear what you're why, why, What's the argument for Chet saying that Wilt is his goat or Kareem is his goat? Well, think, really, I, Wilt. I, the, the, argue, the argument would be someone walked up to him and says, yo, who are the greatest players of all time? And anyone who logically knows what that question is being asked is out of everyone in history who are the best players. So everyone got to be considered. That would be even if you don't know, if even if you don't, if even if you're not as knowledgeable on something, and just say you don't know, and you know what I'm saying, don't don't speak on it type shit. But yeah, when when you're asked this certain criteria, just do it to the best of your ability. If you just don't know, you don't know. It is what it is. But he but he does know. He he knows that Dwight Howard, somebody he saw, is his goat. <laughs> Nigga said he does know Dwight, nigga. He knows Boogie. It just sounds like another way of saying that's my favorite player of all time. I think that's it's what cool. Goat is. I think that's what Goat is anyway. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, in like how we use the term, that's my goat. I mean, yeah. Jason Tatum is my goat <laughs> type shit. That's yeah. not even true though. Luca okay. is the goat, but you know. And I, but and uh, uh, that's what I'm ultimately saying in this conversation. Mm. Yeah, sure. Because at that point, at that point, there can't be a definitive because everybody values everything differently. So at that, it's your favorite. Oh yeah, but it's yeah. never a definitive. There's never, there's never been a definitive goat though. That's what I'm saying. So that's why it's okay. We basically saying the goat argument stupid. I mean, in in the grand scheme of things, it really is. Yeah, a lot of the conversations are stupid. So so oh if Chet, if Chet says that Al Jefferson is his goat, are we mad at him? I mean, no, I'm, I'm not mad. mad. I'm, I'm not, not mad. mad. I'm not girl I, I, mad. Bro. I, I will like, think you a dummy. I will yeah, be like, oh, I, yeah. say, I think you're Jeff pretty don't special. Watch basketball. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna just assume you don't watch basketball. You just play it, which a lot of people do. A lot of niggas will say, I'd rather go out and play ball. Why would I watch it? A lot of niggas don't watch ball. Shout out Big Al. They, everybody was mad we didn't draft him. Fuck Al Jefferson. Al. If Chet, <laughs> if the niggas ask Chet, who's your goal? And that nigga says Al Jefferson. That nigga moves down my totem pole. I, so, I so you ain't seen him in Utah, no, Charlotte? All right, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to hear that shit, nigga. What? Over Shaq? Like, what, what are we talking about? Like, and that would be my thing. Even if you said some shit that even remotely, like, you can say some off-the-wall shit. If you ask a nigga who his go, if you ask, oh, that's crazy. I'm not going to say his name. But if you, I was going to say Josh Giddy. <laughs> but if you ask, who, if you ask Anthony Black, who's your goal? And that nigga says Magic. I have more respect for that than saying fucking De- Mar DeRozan. Like, what the fuck? Joe I'm Dumars. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm, that sorry. I'm sorry. You asked Grady, did, you asked Grady did, who's your goat? He says Larry Bird. I respect that way more than prime fucking Gordon Hayward. I'm sorry. That just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't. This is a different level of, 
understanding and some but, shit. But okay, the so purpose right. to prime too, you, not just. Yeah, prime I'm, about to, I'm about to say, can we talk about an <laughs> underrated, stupid moniker in basketball debates? Prime play X player, yo, that shit is some of the most cringe <laughs> arguments of all time, bro. All right, I'm just saying, y'all weren't there for prime Derek White. Prime Derek White was giving you 15 and all right, bro. At his best, 40 bomb. You ain't seen the 40 bomb. <laughs> nigga, nigga scored 40 one time in his career. As a matter of fact, over 26 one time in his career. It was that point. Terrence Ross, I don't know. Okay, right. but all right. So, so if somebody's saying that, and then I ask them, if, if I ask, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Kobe Buffkinner, I'm trying to think of some other um, young dude who probably wouldn't know nothing about basketball. Like, if I ask Jason Tatum, let me stop. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, if I if I ask Jordan Hawkins, like, okay, who's your goat? And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I like the, I like Magic Johnson or some shit like that. No, oh, okay, what do you like about Magic Johnson? He starts just bullshitting. Yo, winning, you know, you know, lock, lock up, he's a defender. Uh, lock up. <laughs> but he just starts yeah. bullshitting. Wouldn't you rather him say, like, yo, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I did grow up in Milwaukee. Michael Red, that was my guy, man. Like, wouldn't you rather him say some shit like that? I, I would That's rather just say your guy. Like that. I mean, yeah. I, I, I would, yes, yes. Omar, I would rather you say that than lie. Yeah, don't lie about it. I want you to be honest regardless. Like, if I act in the upcoming years in the draft, I'm trying to – if Case and Wallace, if they act in the draft process, if niggas ask Case and Wallace who's your GOAT, and he's – yeah, nigga, I fuck with James Harden. James Harden's my guy. That's my dude. I, I grew up watching James Harden. That's my thing. Now, I'm not going to draft you, but I understand and I respect your answer. But I just, I'm just like, what the fuck? James you're Harden. Drafted, you're not drafting nobody that don't. Nigga, I, listen, let me tell you something right <laughs> now. Who? No, who GM, no GM in history should draft a player that says James Harden was their goal. Because that Jeez. nigga is a ch- He's going to hey, play like Washington work, Jordan Poole. Work that ethic, work ethic, James Harden. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, bro. That nigga's, his, his priorities are fucked up. If he now, if we was dead last in free throw attempts, hold on now. I'm just saying, hey. Say you're disgusting. <laughs> he did last you. You say you like you like him. Me? Oh yeah. <laughs> come on, come on down. Come on. I down. bet Brownie gonna say KD is goat. I think his favorite uh, player is actually Steph Curry. I thought it was Damn. Paul George. Them little niggas was, like Paul George. No, I thought it was Westbrook. I thought um I know back when it, no no back when he was playing AAU he wore zero and it was because his favorite player was Westbrook at the time. Ain't that Dick riding though? Mm. I don't know if it's Dick right, but well, I you know LeBron like LeBron said it like his sons wear his their favorite players numbers. I want to say Brownie wore zero. And He's Bryce wore one. Bryce wore something else. He he wore a different number, but it wasn't LeBron's numbers. It wasn't six or twenty-three. Brownie Brownie is the ultimate dick rider, though. Oh, That's okay. crazy. He's I'm not gonna do that. Nigga got a whole nother man's name. PJ man. Okay. <laughs> he has his dad's man. name. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Yeah, you said he has another man. Come on, man. If he that's not dick riding, I don't know. I don't know. I just yeah. I had a little cousin that said, um, <laughs> When we would play in the in the driveway, he'd be like, Oh yeah, Mike Bibby. And this is like Hawks Mike Bibby. And I'd be like, Yeah, man. I'd rather you say that than like uh uh <laughs> John Stockton. I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> I even John Stockton. Who's like a yeah, I'm about to say a 50s point guard. Oh uh uh Who's John he? Johnson. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> you've gotta be you've gotta be trolling. Eating triples like a Oscar. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. In bro. the driveway. Um <laughs> 